Uh, great, great to get the season started off. Uh, obviously, I, I just think you know, anytime you can win a game, uh, I, I really truly believe that. Uh, we just talked about it. Winning is difficult, uh, so you know, obviously glad that we were fortunate enough to to win in the opening night. Um, that being said, uh, really disappointed with our isolation and on-ball defense. I thought they, uh, you know, I thought. Ferrum did a really good job. I think a lot of respect for Coach Corrigan and their team. Um, you know, we knew coming in this would be a team that wanted to play downhill and, and drive the basketball and, and just not pleased with how we guarded the basketball. I thought we did some good things on both sides of the ball that was, you know, in terms of which allowed us to, to come out with the victory. But uh, overall, that's our takeaway is that we just didn't guard the ball the way that we need to and we're going to fix that. Seems like y'all came out with a lot of intensity and is it a matter of sustaining that defensively, especially in terms of keeping that pressure on? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, Stephen, I think there's a lot of angst early in the first game. It was excited, and I think that adrenaline goes. And I thought we went to our bench early, and we got what we needed in terms of guys. Uh, you know, I thought we got what we needed in terms of guys coming in and staying fresh. Uh, but, but what happens is sometimes what I thought tonight was we tried to do everything on the first side. We tried to get a stop on the first side of the floor. We tried to score on the first side of the floor. And you start getting in that habit because you just want to go to the other end. You just want to play offense. And uh, I thought that really affected our defense. You know, trying to do it. You have to be willing to grind out possessions on defense. We have to be willing to grind out possessions on offense. And I don't think we did a good job of that tonight. Speaking of coming off the bench, how do you think Bobby looked tonight, his first game? At East Carolina. Yeah, I think it was good. You know, I think it's been difficult for Bob. You know, we, he and I just spoke in there. He's probably practiced 10 practices in the last three, four months, literally. He's probably had 10 full practices in the last three or four months with his hand injury and then his, you know, hamstring. So with that being said, we knew timing, wind, things like that might be a little effective. I, I thought we saw that late in the game, but re really can't wait for him to be himself but very excited that he was just back on the court and he provided a really good presence for us. Caleb got the start and, and played well. So what did you kind of see to, to allow him to earn that start tonight? You know, what he's done in the preseason, uh, just what he does every day in practice. I think Caleb, between what he does in practice, what he did in both uh, of the scrimmages that we had against other opponents, he just showed a great uh, natural feel for running the point. And you know, Jaden did some really good things too with that. He's been at the point all preseason because Bobby hasn't been on the floor. And you know, Bob has not practiced enough to be in a position to be able to be in that spot yet. Uh, but I think, you know, he will compete. And again, I, I, you and I asked, talked about this the other day. I'm not so worried about who starts the game. Uh, it's who finishes the game and who does what we need throughout the game. We talked a little bit last year about Brandon kind of developing that three-point shot. We saw today some more too. I, mean, what, I guess what'd you like about his kind of shot selection kind of all over the floor? Well, I thought the be the biggest thing, and, and we talked about Brandon's continued growth. Okay, last year he showed he could shoot the basketball. We played through him in the post. I think his post game is becoming a little more refined right now as well. But I think the biggest thing that everyone saw tonight is Brandon can drive the basketball. Brandon is getting downhill, playing off one foot on drives in terms of stretching out and using his 6'9 frame and his length and his weight. You know, he's 6'9", 235. He gets downhill and he can play with that fluidity. A big thing for him was working on fluidity this off season. And I thought he showed some of that tonight. Uh, but we, we just have so far to go with our shot selection, our, our defensive rebounding. You know, I, th I don't think we hit the offensive glass the way I know we need to. I mean, you know, we end up shooting the ball 52% uh, from the floor, but uh, 11 offensive rebounds, not enough. It's just not enough. Coach, you say you, you were not overly pleased with their defense, but I felt like your defense eventually kind of wore them down throughout the game. Did that kind of, did you feel like you were able to wear them down a little bit? Tonight? I think that's a really good point. And I think I'll clarify, I'm not overly pleased. I'm not pleased at all with our defense uh, and not at all. I mean, zero, uh, very unhappy with how we played defensively uh, and we're going to fix it. But that being said, yes, I do think maybe the intensity, the physicality, um, that we played with over the course of 40 minutes, maybe wear them down a little bit. They got in foul trouble. A big player for them that was on key for us was Calvin Washington, who averaged 18 points a game last year. We were able to go at him early in the game. We got him in foul trouble, but two other players for their team stepped up and absolutely torched us and, and had really, really good nights, really good players. Um, 
but yeah, probably the overall depth probably did that, and, and that ends up you know playing into our favor. You know, the only thing that I will look at on the defensive side of it and say that we did what we wanted to do is we stayed out of foul trouble. That was something that was a real key. Uh, we didn't want to get in early foul trouble and, and to keep them off the free, the free throw line and stay out of foul trouble. That was a positive. You know, maybe you could find a small silver lining, uh, but we just got a lot to fix with our defense. Ezra, seven to ten from the line. He drew seven fouls, so it had to be good to see the ball go in there and him get to the line. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, Ezra is his first step. His ability to play in straight lines, driving the basketball, even when players give him space and cushion and and try and you know keep him from driving. Uh, I think that's a real big thing for Ezra is, is how physical of a driver he is, and he should be someone in this conference that that really draws a lot of fouls and through the first couple scrimmages in practice and tonight, I think he's done that and that was a good sign. Quentin didn't shoot the best tonight, but he was very aggressive. He came out early shooting a lot of shots. And also he was on the floor a lot tonight along with uh, Baella and Jaden Walker. And at one point those three were all on the floor and they're like the three wings of this team. And it was really good to see them on the floor and kind of play like positionless basketball with them. So. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, it's a good it's a good way of saying it. You know, what we were searching for tonight, to be quite honest, was a defensive unit that could could really step up. I mean, in, in the first half, uh, uh, you know, when Jakari Johnson got going and he really got going, I mean, we were searching for someone just to, as we made some adjustments, just who could get him to take some tough shots and get him to miss it, just break the rhythm, just break the rhythm. Uh, you know. We put a zone in, but I wasn't going to go a zone deep. We were going to find a way to, to break rhythm. We weren't going to do that tonight. And, you know, so we, at times it was Quentin, at times it was Jaden, at times it was Ben, and at one point it was all three of them. But we were searching for a defensive unit that could cohesively make it difficult on that team. And I, I don't know if we found it. You know, when I go back and watch the film, I'll see. Um, but Jaden Walker, one thing I do love about Jaden is his versatility. He can play the point, the two, the three, the four. He can do it on offense. He can do it on defense. And that versatility, when RJ's cramping and Bobby's on limited minutes, having him be able to play all over the court is really important. I thought Jaden did a good job of that. Can you, can you touch on that a little bit? It seemed like a few guys were dealing with some maybe just the first game of the season cranks. Probably, yeah. You know, I, I think when you're at this point, you know, as much as we practice and as much as you compete and everything to be in tip-top shape, and we, we practice pretty hard, what happens is that great crowd and Minji's and the energy and the, you know families are there, they haven't seen families, that adrenaline kicks in. And sometimes, man, that first win, the second win, and all of a sudden you're 25, 30 minutes into the game and you feel different, then you cannot mimic it. You can try, you can run in this gym, we can run, 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 and we can practice. You can't mimic the mental, the physical, the emotion, just all the feelings that, but we'll settle in with that. But, and, and you know, but I think that's what happened. I think that's a good point.